beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you'll be finding out if I fail or succeed in this flexi rise set. Is this day one hair, day two hair, day three hair, or day four hair? You don't know. Wait till the end of the video to find out if I fail or succeeded. And also find out if this is day one, two, three, or four hair. <laughs> comment in the comment section and let me know what you think this is. Am I rocking day one hair? Two, three, four? Tell me below. Pause the video right now and tell me below. So, in today's video, you will be seeing just that, just what I told you. I will be showing you the whole entire process as far as me doing the flexi rod set. Probably won't be the whole entire process because I am going to cut it down a little bit because it is a long video. But this, y'all, y'all will find out. But before you completely watch this video thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet make sure you click the bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a video share this video and go check out the rest of my other videos <laughs> i'm gonna try it one more again one more again if this works out i may do it another time but today i'm just gonna do Flexi Rise set, cause if y'all remember, I did a Flexi Rise set once upon a time, and it was a complete fail. But today, I plan on succeeding. So the two Flexi Rise that I'm using are the gray ones and the orange ones. I have 18 of the orange ones and six of the gray ones. The gray ones are going in the back, so my hair can be elongated a little bit more, cause it's thicker. And yeah. So, for starters, I did wash my hair, and I did my DIY pre-poo, which will be up very, very soon. So, I'm just letting y'all know it is a plug, and y'all need to try it because my hair is healthier than it used to be, and it's shinier, easy to detangle, all that good stuff. So, I am going to be using those flexi rods that I just showed y'all, and... My trusty dusty detangling brush that I only got for $10 from Walmart and it's better than the Demon brush on my hair. Y'all can try it if y'all want to. My hair is super thick. This glides through very easily. No tangles, no um, snags or anything like that. Only $10 at Walmart. You probably can find this at CVS or any other drug store, local drugstore. Um, it's called a Tangle Buster. So yeah, hop on that. But I am going to use, see I had like a little dilemma of whether I wanted to use Aunt Jackie's Curl La Custard or the new Cream of Nature's Pure Honey, you know, um, Twisting Cream. And like, I had a debate with myself for like a whole 10 minutes about this and I know that sounds really crazy but that's what happened so i decided to go with a more creamier consistency um even though the custard is really creamy and thick and it dissolves into my hair really really easily i want my hair to be like buttery and i don't want a really really hard um hold on my hair so i'm not using gel to do this but i'm purely using just one product, Cream of Nature's Pure Honey Twisting Cream. So, of course, I'm going to start with the back. And I'm not sure if I'm going to show y'all the procedure of me doing it on this side. The process, the procedure. What am I talking about? Um, I'm, <laughs> So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and do this side off camera. And then come back and do this side on camera. Because I really, really, really don't know how this is going to go. And if it goes bad, I ain't going to show myself doing that. Because um, I can't have another fail video. <laughs> but yeah, keep watching. A little longer than a few minutes later. 
Okay guys, I think I got it. I don't know if this is gonna turn out good, but I finally got it arranged on my hair. I'm excited about it. I'm really nervous about how the length will be, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did. Oh, I'm excited. So in the back of my hair, I am putting two of the gray flexi rods. So separating this into two I'm putting about this much on my hair and praying to God that it doesn't revert and then just I actually don't know how to do it this way I'm going to place this here and just Wrap it around. And then put a lot on the end so it can stick onto the rod. That way will be poofing at the end. So I'm going to keep twisting this around like so and adding moisturizer so I can Stick to the prime rod. Not the prime rod, but the flexi rod. And then all I'm going to do is twist and clamp this down and then do the same to the end. And that's it. And I'm going to keep doing this throughout the back section of my hair. I think I'm done and I think I did it really stupid. I should have went back this way, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, hopefully, oh God, I really don't know how the heck I'm gonna go to sleep, but uh, I'm gonna have to figure that out before I go to sleep tonight. And um, what? Hopefully it comes out good. Like this is annoying me right now, to be honest with you. Um, perm process are cute or what? I mean, flexi process are cute or whatever when it comes out, but dog, the process is brutal. Like, I have a total of 24 of these things in my head, and I'm ready to take them out already because look at my head. I did it the wrong direction in the front. I already know that. Don't even, don't, don't let me know in the in the comment section because I already know I'm mad at myself about that. But I was not about to take it down and redo it. No way no way possible but 
how do you sleep in these? The last time I did my hair in a flexi ride set, I was relaxed and I had to sit under the dryer for a good hour and a half and then boom, it was done. But because my hair is natural and I don't have a hooded dryer anymore, I have to sleep at the, with this in my hair at night and like I'm, I'm dreading that. Like I can sleep on the back of my head, that's fine. Like the back is flat. But how, I'm usually sleeping on the side. How do I do that? Like, oh God. This is gonna be torture at night to go to sleep. And I'm hot. It is hot with all this stuff on my, my freaking head. Like, why? Why did I decide to do this? Why did I? Okay, first of all, I thought it was gonna come out cute because I've done it in the past on you know relaxed hair and it came out really cute so i'm like my natural hair is a lot thicker a lot fuller a lot longer a lot healthier let me try it now why why in my right mind did i think that was okay i don't know but i bought all these flexi rides and i had filled the first time so i was like i'm gonna do this if it comes out good tomorrow I'm going to be extremely happy. If it doesn't, I will put it in a pineapple. And after that, I will do like a braid out or a twist out. Because that's what I do. But, God. Pray for me, y'all. Pray that it comes out really well. Because if it doesn't, I'm going to be fully upset. Because I can't return these. But, yeah. I'm done and I did it right this time I think well halfway like three fourths correctly hopefully it comes out good oh god if it doesn't oh well but yeah I did it I look crazy but that's all right. That's the process. See y'all in the morning. Eight hours later. <sighs> okay, so it's almost 11 o'clock at night. And I'm about to take these out of my head. It's been in my hair for a good eight hours. I cannot sleep in this. I cannot sleep in this. This hurts. I don't know how people sleep in these. Like, it hurts. Like, I'm just being real. I'm finna take this out can take them out uh if it comes out good bravo to me if it doesn't oh well right now my my scalp is not here for this i'm tender headed i don't know how y'all are but i'm gonna just go ahead and start unraveling uh where do i start let's start in the front What? It curled. Probably ugly though. Oh, it's not ugly. It's, it's rather pretty, but I can't I cannot sleep in this. So Finally, my my scalp. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go to sleep with my hair not separated and separated in the morning. Y'all, 
the people that sleep in flexi rides. Y'all, I don't know what y'all be on. Y'all probably be medicated, high, drunk. I don't know what y'all be on, but that hurts so bad to go to sleep in flexi rides. I had to hurry up and take them out. It was a no-go for me as far as sleeping in them. Bravo to y'all who do sleep in flexi rides. That's the most painful experience ever. I can sleep in perm rides, but flexi rides, no, no ma'am, no sir. I literally laid down for two minutes and was like, I can't do this. I have to take my hair out. I'm so happy that it was done on stretched hair because if it was done on wet hair, I would have had to sleep in them and I wouldn't have gotten nothing but 30 minutes of sleep. It didn't come out bad, it still curls there. It's really, you know, soft and all that, but I'm not gonna separate them until tomorrow. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Okay, this is my hair separated and I hate it. I look stupid. I look really stupid. Of course I can manipulate it. The curl is just not, it's not even. My hair would have looked like this even if, if I would have left the curl, the, perm, the flexi rise in my hair overnight. It just looks really ugly. Maybe it's because I didn't use the right size or maybe it's because I didn't use the, prep, the right um product to set it maybe it's because i just didn't use that many flexi rods but i hate it and i'm gonna do something i don't know put it in a pineapple maybe that'll work but the ends of my hair on some ends it's a lot of product build up and that's nasty and annoying look at that product build up frizz um no curl definition on this side yeah this is all a fail but that's okay that is okay trial and error okay so this was a way better attempt than it was last time so let me just manipulate it and look for Okay. So what I'm going to do is just put it in the pineapple for half of the week. My hair, despite it looking like a hot mess, is very moisturized and I can't let that moisture go to waste. So what I'm going to do is... Put it in the pineapple. Y'all, sometimes it is okay to fail at a hairstyle just to know what you did wrong, how could you fix it, what you need to do the next time, and I'm okay with sharing with y'all my failures as well as my successful hairstyles. Today, this hairstyle was a fail. It used to be a really, I'm just stretching my hairband before I put it on my head, but 
I used to be good at doing this hairstyle. And now because I don't know how to do it on this head of hair, it just looks a hot mess. My pineapples never fills me. Never fail, never fail. But yeah. This is just how I'm going to wear my hair today. And it's okay with me. It's really, it looks a lot better in a pineapple than it does down. So yeah. This is my final look. Of course, I'm going to um, dust my face off because I've been uh, steadying my makeup and yeah so this is it all right y'all so y'all made it to the end of the video so y'all know that this is day one here and it's a complete fail not a complete fail because I like my pineapple right now but it was a fail. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And I'm not ashamed of it. Like I said, I have to learn by trial and error. I'm not gonna get it the first time, not even the second time, probably not the third time I do it. But this time it was a fail. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed watching me fail this flexi ride set for the second time because your girl did. So yeah, I'm gonna try another time, but I'm gonna put more flexi rides in my hair to make sure that it's not as thick of a section per flexi ride. So yeah, I'm gonna do that next time. So I gotta spend some more coins on getting some flexi rides. That's depressing. Why are flexi rides so expensive? Like $4.99 a pack and it's only like six in there. That's crazy. Why? <laughs> but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. Share this video and watch all the rest of my videos. I'll see y'all next time. Deuces.